he felt about that. Uh, I see other reasons too. Uh, do not forget that this is a government that even before Theresa May hasn't been able to pass big budget line items. Now, not being able to pass your budgets is normally the sign of a government in office but not in power. Uh, she will have been stung by the reception to that budget in March where she had to turn around uh, on that big uh, policy change uh, changes. So she now will seek a bigger majority and a mandate of her own, a mandate that she did not possess before a general election. She inherited a mandate from David Cameron. She inherited a sort of mandate from Brexit, which is in terms in her own way. She now seeks her own mandate and if the polls are right, she's going to get it. The polls have proved wrong in the past though. She's obviously confident that this is not a gamble but a, a strategic move that she has to make at a time of uncertainty. Others will say that some of the rhetoric around the opposition, about the need for unity, the opposition needing to get on board, well that tells its own story too. And a variety of subplots around the different nations and regions of the United Kingdom against the Lib Dems, the hope from the Conservatives that they can win seats off the Scottish National party and where the Labour Party stands in all of this too. Well, the main opposition parties have all given their reaction now. Thank you, Faisal.